everybody, David Lewis here. Hey, today we're going to be going over some things inside of the transfer rip that a lot of people have been asking about. You know, there are these settings for doing the raster masking. And, you know, it's not really totally user friendly the way those settings are put inside of the rip. So what I've done is, is I've uh, run some jobs, created some output, and we're going to go over those today and see how they look see uh, if it helps you get a little bit better idea of what those settings do in the RIP. So let's get started. So here is the RIP and this is the uh, the job that I've used for the testing. Um, the you know this is your basic color job. One of the reasons I picked this particular job was because it had a good bit of black elements in it. There's a grayscale image and then a, a, a grayscale ramp at the bottom. We're going to be using the raster masking for dark garments to test this with, and so I think this is a good image. This is the white channel for this, so you can see and get an idea of, of where we're putting white in the job. Really, the white is not all of that relevant to this particular uh, video, but just so you'll have a reference point for that. Now, we've done, I've done several different shirts. The first one I did was just using what we call the screening from the printer. So this is effectively no raster masking whatsoever. Uh, I output this as a transparency to the forever laser dark two-step media. And then I created my shirts from these prints. During the process, we, we then switched over to the screening as configured for dark garments. And what I did was is that I wanted to get an idea of where this shadow tolerance value comes into play. You know, it starts here at zero. It goes all the way up to 400. And it's like, well, you know, what does this mean? What does it do? How does it affect the design? and where are the right settings for this. So what I did was, is I started off with a value of 100. Uh, for all of them, I used the masking of 30 LPI, the Euclidean dot shape, and the 5250 angle. These in and of themselves are not really, again, relevant to this particular test, but I just wanted to make sure that we kept the same settings for all of the prints that we've done. So I printed one with a zero, then I printed another one with it set to 100, uh, 200, 300, and 400, just so we'd have a bit of a reference point. So let's start by looking at the first one here. So this is the no masking, the one that was done without any raster masking. I printed these on both a black shirt and a white shirt so that you could see looking at them, you know, what the difference is, where the black has been removed can be seen easier on the white shirts, for example. In this case here, you can see everything is printed. There's black everywhere that there's black in the design. So this is a full, uh, complete coverage of toner with no masking whatsoever. So the entire job is basically a solid print, if you will. And this is one of the things that this feature is designed to avoid is um, not having a solid print. So the first one here is with the shadow tolerance set to zero. And one of the things that you'll notice with this is that there is a little bit of black removal for the most part, most of the black is still being printed. You still see pretty much all of the detail of the black. There is some rasterization that's occurring inside, but basically only the 100%, only the solid, solid black is the only thing that's actually being removed, if you will, from the job. So we're getting some rasterization. We're getting some removal of the black color in the design, but for the most part, most of the black is still present. So our next one is with the shadow tolerance set at 100. 
So here we start to see a bit more of the black being removed from the design. You still got quite a bit of black in the detail, for example, in the hair of the subject, in the grayscale sliders in the picture. And again, most of the black that's being removed is the 100%, little bit of removal out of the 90% category. And again, on the white is where you can really see where the black is being taken out of the design. So this is, I would still say this one is not quite enough black removal for most uses. So let's go to the 200. So here is where 200 is. And this is quite a bit of black removal. So here we're seeing a good deal of black being removed. You see that the hair is losing a lot of its, uh, uh, of its design. The black dots are being removed in a lot of areas where you might expect some detail coming in. We've got considerable black coming out of the step chart. Uh, you'll notice in the, uh, in the picture beside the face that there are some, some spots where, you know, there are fairly significant uh, black being removed out of the design. And so this, this I would say, is starting to, get in, starting to get into the realm of too much black removal. So let's go on up to 300. So here now we're clearly seeing beside this lady's face to the left hand side, some significant dots being removed that probably should be in the picture. Very little black is left in our design. Virtually everything is, is, uh, is black being picked up from the shirt. Um, you can see in the step chart, a great deal of black has been removed from that. And, you know, our, the essential uh, detail of the job is just coming in from the colored areas with, uh, with not much shadow detail being present. And then in the 400%, virtually all of the black is gone at this point. So we've got, you know, very, very little uh, black. We've got very significant loss of dots in the shadow parts beside her face, um, significant loss of dots in the grayscale image, um, and again, a significant loss in the, um, in the shadow area as well. So again, you know, the 300, the 400, even in many respects, the 200% represents a, uh, a significant loss of uh, of, of shadow dots in the job. So my hope is, is that from this, you can see that the, probably the best range for using the masking uh, as a, a raster masking for dark garments is gonna be in the 100 to 200 uh, category. Uh, I typically, when I'm running shirts, will run about 140, 150, 160 uh, for most of the jobs that I work with. So again, I hope this is uh, a little bit helpful to you. This will be the first of several of these that we're going to be doing. I hope you saw my last video where I did the uh, raster masking for light garments, uh, creating the design with the Johnny Mathis uh, Mother's Day gift. Anyway, David Lewis, AW Specialty Papers, thanks for your time today.